Priscilla Presley was born as Priscilla Ann Wagner on May 24, 1945 to Ann Iverson and James Wagner, a U.S. Navy pilot in Brooklyn, New York. When she was merely six months old, her father died in a plane crash. Ann Iverson remarried Paul Bolu, a U.S. Air Force officer who took over as young Priscilla's legal father. Her father's profession made young Priscilla move from one city to another every two to three years. She loathed relocation for the challenges that it brought of settling in a new city and new environment. In 1956, her father was transferred yet again to Austin, Texas. Just when Priscilla finally settled down at the new place and had made friends, the transfer orders came in, this time to Wiesbaden, Germany. It was in Wiesbaden, Germany that Priscilla first met Elvis Presley, who in turn was serving in the United States Army's 3rd Armored Division. The two met at a party at Elvis's home. Elvis Presley was floored by Priscilla's beauty and charm. Though she was 10 years younger to him, she managed to make a huge impression. The two dated until his departure in March 1960. The following four years marked the meteoric rise of Elvis Presley as a singer and actor. Despite being extensively busy with his career commitments, the love of the two blossomed so much so that Priscilla visited him in U.S. during the summer of 1962. In March 1963, she moved to America for good. It was there that she attended the Immaculate Conception High School in Memphis and lived with Presley's parents. Upon graduating in June 1963, she moved to live in with Presley. Presley's Casanova image did little to bring down her love for him. In December 1966, he proposed marriage to her and on May 1, 1967, the two entered into a wedlock. Exactly nine months later, they were blessed with their only child, Lisa Marie. Life following marriage and child was happy for Priscilla, despite Presley's sporadic love affairs. However, following Presley's career rise, the marriage soured as Presley spent more time touring and indulged in numerous love affairs. The marriage hit the rocks on February 23, 1972, when Priscilla and Presley separated. They filed for a divorce, which eventually got finalized on October 9, 1973. Priscilla was granted $725,000 in addition to spousal support, child support, 5% of Presley's new publishing house, and half money generated from the sale of their Beverly Hills property. It was following her divorce with Presley in 1973 that she eventually started her career as a proprietor of Biss and Bow. The store, however, shut down in 1976. Following Presley's death in 1977, she served as the executor for his only heir, her daughter, Lisa Marie. The Graceland estate required a whopping amount of $500,000 as maintenance costs, which limited Lisa Marie's inheritance to merely $1 million. She took the risk of converting Graceland estate into a tourist attraction, a move which paid off handsomely. Opened to public on June 7, 1982, the estate came under Elvis Presley Enterprises, of which she served as the president. Under her, the enterprise grew on to become a multi-million dollar trust. In 1988, she launched her own line of fragrance. She soon followed it up with her own range of linens. Meanwhile, she also produced a couple of films, including Breakfast with Einstein and Finding Graceland. In 2000, she was appointed to the board of directors of Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer.
Priscilla, all through her life, had been interested in modeling and dancing, but Presley's aversion to his wife having a career in show business restrained her interest to being hobby alone. However, after his death, she pursued a career as an actor. In 1983, she starred in a television film, Love is Forever, opposite Michael Landon. Subsequently, she was seen as Jenna Wade in the primetime television soap opera, Dallas. She played the character for five long years until 1988. In 1988, she starred opposite Leslie Nielsen in the first film of the Naked Gun series. All the films were major blockbuster hits. The decade of 1990s saw her appear as special guest for the television series Melrose Palace, Touched by an Angel, and Spin City. She was a contestant in the show Dancing with the Stars. On Christmas 2012, she made her pantomime debut in the musical comedy Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. She starred opposite Warwick Davis. She reprised her role two years later at Opera House in Manchester.